Hi agents, in this video I'm going to show you a very good method of grinding the maximum damage commendation in the division. It's quite an annoying commendation if I'm being honest with you and it's going to be a pretty bad grind. However, I believe this is the best method of doing it. I ain't done it myself yet, I just know this is how I'm going to do it when I get round to it. So we'll have a look at the commendation now which is maximum damage. It's I'm on hit five. 50,000 sorry weak points uh, it actually maxes out at 100,000 so you're gonna have to hit 100,000 weak points now a weak point is uh, so like a weak point on an NPC you've got like the grenade pouch on a grenadier that pouch goes off really really quick so that's not really good to grind on uh, you've got the backpack on heavies uh, they can take a while but still uh, not the best the, the best npc to grind on is the cleaner boss with the tank on their left leg they got a bag or pouch on their right leg and they have the tank on their back so they have three areas of uh, weak spots to hit so there's a great method for this which i'm going to show you now that involves dragon's nest which gives you two of these um right at the start of the mission and a third if you want as well there's actually three in total right at the start of the mission so i'm going to show you how to set up to to grind this on dragon's nest with those three cleaner bosses um first of all you're gonna want a real poor gun and you're gonna be using two builds so uh, bear with me we're gonna go for the poor gun first now you could do this better than i can do it possibly because i don't have a fourth character make to make or another character to make if you make a second character or, or a different character you're able to start the game again and get yourself a like gray common weapon um so like an ar or something at level one that'd be the best gun to use because you don't want to destroy these tanks quickly you want to grind the weak spots so you want a poor gun as possible i can't do that like i could probably jump in with someone that is starting the game and get them to give it me but that's yeah i've got no one i can do that with right now but yeah that's an option if i want to in the future so with having no characters to make i'm gonna have to craft the gun now if i go to my blueprints we've all unlocked these blueprints playing through the game so just scroll down to the bottom and you should be able to make yourself a blue gun you will need the materials for it i've got plenty of blue like if i had green i'd make a green one but i don't have green so i'm gonna have to go with a blue and the best one i'm going to use here is this lmg the classic rpk 74 blueprint with only um as you can see there 3000 to 3000 sorry 3477 to 3491 damage it is hardly hitting anything so yeah that's the gun i'm going to go with i've already crafted this and put it on my build but craft yourself one of those so the build you're going to want to use is a reclaimer build that's one or two builds so i've got me reclaimer build here as you can see i've got me uh gun in slot it's in position i'm not going to put no mods on it because i don't want to make it hit any harder um and yeah that, that's right you're going to want to run a reclaimer build with your support station on life support and your um booster so your um overdose sorry so you can give yourself overdose uh swap to a green as well you don't need to tack on and that build is ready to go so you're going to be using that build as it is there to hit the weak spots and you're going to get about 200 weak spot hits off the two uh cleaner bosses to come out i'm going to show you now anyway i'm going to show you how this is done so once you once you've got your build set up you got your gun ready or whatnot you're then going to want to select dragon's nest and you're going to want to put it on heroic because the harder it is so also well to your five because the harder it is the more hp those you know weak spots will have and the npcs will have okay we're at the start of dragon's nest it's on heroic and no away we go so you got i mentioned before you're going to want like two builds like an alternative build you can't swap build when you're in combat but what you can do is go into your loadout and swap around gear pieces you're going to want to do that at the start of this because of the free rushes that you get how this is set up they are really annoying like you, you can't kill them easily with this build on heroic on your own however if you've got a hard hitting build you can switch to you can get rid of them very quick and then take on the cleaners with your poor gun and get a lot of weak spots uh, and you'll, you'll see what i mean now i'll show you what i do it's also worth mentioning it doesn't always like do the aggro i was supposed to like you get three rushes you kill them and then you have two cleaner bosses uh with the tank on the left leg the bag on the right the tank on the back uh but then sometimes the next wave will come along while you're still working on them if that happens it's very frustrating but just remember every single weak point hit counts it's saved when you die you respawn here so you don't need to go back to start a mission 
position it's as simple as switching back to your gear that what i'm going to do now planting the bomb and rinsing and repeating so before you plant this bomb you just want to put on a hard hitting build so without changing your loadout uh you want to just swap out pieces so i'm going to put my sentry on as it hits hard and i can this is going to take down these three rushes very very quick however i am then on a time limit to get my reclaimer pieces back on but you do have plenty of time you'll see how i do it now so i've got my sentry on and what i've done is equipped the sniper as my secondary here just to take them out very quick i've still got that gun as my primary and let's go you want to plant this bomb and you run want to run back to the back of uh, where we just dropped down from and climb up the truck Okay, and then, f oh, hang on, we dropped. Take these out as quick as you can. One, two, three, just like that. Climb up the truck, and then from up here, you just want to equip the reclaimer build that you just took off. So I'm going to swap out my pieces back to the reclaimer as quick as I can. You'll see how much time you have. You have so much time to do this. Oh, not final measure. There we go. And there we have it, back to Reclaimer, and we are ready to go. Put your box down, and switch to your blue gun. Now you've got... Oh, they haven't even started coming yet. See, this is what I mean. No, sometimes they're going to be on top of you as you're changing them, but this time they've got stuck in there. So it's going to get their attention. There you go. He should now come walking to me. When this happens, it makes it a little bit easier. Here we go. So from up here, they can't get you which is brilliant and you've got your box so they can't set you on fire and you can just use it keep using this blue gun to hit the weak spots and um, before we do start let's have a quick look at the counts so on combat ever go down to maximum damage i am on 38,437 weak spot hits so here comes the first one if we're lucky he's going to climb up onto this to make it very easy if not they'll just stay down there whichever's good just make sure you get these weak spot hits So there you go, a tank takes out the tank, sorry, a clip takes out the tank on the left leg. And you've got this tank on the back. That goes in a clip as well. And then on his right leg, we have that bag there. And you know when it's hitting, because you can see the yellow crosshair. That yellow crosshair means it's a weak spot. Okay, so now on to the second one. There we go, that's two cleaner bosses done, and I destroyed all three weak spots on each of them. And if we look at this, I forgot what I just said I was on. It's three, it, sorry, it's um, 400 and something um, maximum damage, so it's now 621. It's roughly 200 weak spots, it's like 100 weak spots per cleaner, really, are just a bit short. Now, I would just die and respot, uh, restart at this point uh, for the reason, well, normally, because you've got those two rushes there and another cleaner there. Now, as they're there like this, if this happens to you, just quickly switch back, like we did earlier, back to your sentry. And take out those rushes, because with them gone, you can get a third boss here. Uh, if they already rush you, like sometimes these will rush you while you're working on the first two, which is really, really annoying. But you'll just get as many weak spots as you can, die and restart. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to quickly take out these, and get myself a third cleaner boss. That was some poor shooting. Okay. So as we know, when I'm up here, he can't harm me. But I've got to be very quick now. 
because he is right on my tail and it might not give me time to change it. Oh, not Alpha Bridge. There we go. So there you go. When I'm on fire, I'm a little bit screwed. Okay, we'll try again. Okay. Let's get that box down. There we go. There we go. So I've got that six piece reclaimer back on, and I'm going to work on this third cleaner. Boss. There you, there you have it guys, that is for me I think the best method to grind maximum damage, it is annoying, they are going to spawn like randomly, you're going to have rushes all over you at times, but just keep grinding, every single weak spot hit is a hit, and then I'll show you what I mean now, uh, just die and you're going to restart right back to where you just were. Pretty much instantly as well and you just go again. And there you go. So plant the bomb on the door and exactly the same guys. Switch back to your hard hitting bill, take out the rushes, switch back to your reclaimer and do all the damage as well, as much as you can to the weak spots. Um, we finished on... So remember I started on uh, 38,000... I want to say 400 was it? I've got about 300 hit points there. So... Every single time you do it, you got a potential of two to three hundred uh, weak spot hits. Um, it's not great when you think you got to get one hundred thousand. That is really annoying. But if you do just want to grind it, like I'm, I'm not going to grind this yet. I just know about this method. I'm working on my accommodation guide from my website, and I need to do the video, so I'm just showing you the method. That's the method I will use when I get to the point of the game where I just want that accommodation. Hopefully, I'll just keep on uh, getting these counted up, playing the game normally for now, because uh, grinding is annoying. But for those who do want to grind it i believe that's the best method so if this video has helped you please hit like i aim for 10 likes for the video i'd really appreciate that also click subscribe and turn on notifications uh, my website's coming soon this commendation guide i'm working on will be on my website it's a full division commendation guide covering all commendations not a video for every commendation but uh yeah there's a few that there are and this is one of them uh, but until the next video guys thank you for watching and peace out